Hello. Um, here's the thing that we're going to be discussing today. Maybe in the sunlight it actually looks better than what it does. But, uh... Let's begin before we do. Time for a fancy drink. For once in my life, we do not have Red Bull. We have Dr. Pepper instead. I've never tried this ever in my entire life. So, let's do this. I do not like it. With that out the goddamn way, let's start with the painting now, shall we? The first stages, which are quite simple, it's the, it's, it's the same ones that I've explained like a million times before. You kind of compare the proportions of the original photo and the canvas. You print the reference photo and then find a scale factor and sketch everything out. Only thing is, my printer ran out of color print and I wasn't aware of that. Let's just say the reference photo looks very much like the sky that day, which was really pretty actually. I don't know, I think it's super cute. For this particular painting, I only decided to use acrylics instead of oils simply because, I don't know, I guess it made more sense and uh, felt like it. Anyways, simply because it worked out the last time, I decided to paint the sky first. Now mind you, even looking at the photo itself that I found, I thought this project was going to be extremely easy and something that I will be done in no time because there is not much, there's not much variation in style nor in color. It's simply, it's basically the same thing. If it were easy, Trust me when I say this, the final result would look so much better. Even in the sky, I first started with the sunset part of the painting, followed by the upper blue part. I don't know, if you if you see the original, it's kind of weird. The the, the sun is bit is practically divided into two parts. And just for your information, that's Fernando. When I first saw Jeremy, I thought this kid had a better shot of getting me pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, what? What kind of a diss is that? I don't really get that either. What is this he guy had a better <laughs> shot of getting me pregnant. I'd also bring yourself into the diss? Yeah. This guy. Thing took way too long. I was not expecting literally the most easiest part of this um, painting to be this challenging. I think this is something that I say always. Whatever I think is the easiest part turns out to be the hardest. It's kind of crazy. However, over here, everything was easy in my opinion before I actually started to do it. And that's when I was like... Then I started to work on the main event. I don't know why I do that. I always start with the hardest things first. Even with like the girl with the pearl earring, I started with the face first. It's the same ideology. It's basically go big or go home and I already am big. Wait, and I already am home, so I have to go big. And so after that, I started painting the other buildings as well. Um, and this is really when I understood it. This is not simple because this entire painting is so dominated by the color blue the entire depth and shading is done with very different kinds of blue so you really need to have a variety of blues just ready to go in the palette and you may need any of those literally at any given time however the issue is is that um acrylics i fucking hate working with acrylics for the very same reason, it's because it literally dries before you even say blue. I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's just because I don't really know how to paint correctly. That's why I don't know like the technique to how to go about it. It was really freaking hard, okay? Because everything just kind of, I don't know, dried before I could even think about what to do next. And that was really infuriating to me. I don't screw that okay move, let's move on after this dome was kind of painted that is when the entire painting at least in my opinion started to kind of get a structure finally started to look like grease and not just blob of blue you know i kid you not the entire thing that you've seen up until now is the stuff that i have done in two weeks 
Listen up now. I actually, unlike my previous paintings, did not work on it in like one go, if that makes sense. Um, my pre boards are literally just like there. This might be the last video, actually. I just simply did not have enough time to invest in this painting. So, uh, after that, actually, my Diwali break started. So, that was very nice. And the very Friday that the break started, that is when I was like, listen, I'm gonna do a lot of progress because this just has been going technically nowhere for like a long time now. And I don't like that. So, we're gonna change that. I did not take a nap that day, not even lying, I sat in the same place for 5 hours and finished most of the painting. Then came the first day of Diwali break, I didn't actually do anything that day, I vlogged it instead. Check it out. 30th October is when I decided that I was completely done with the entire painting and I left the uh, most challenging part for the last, which was the... Um, that <laughs> of the windmills i don't know what they're called sticks the ones that like rotate well now i have to draw these thingies this is how it's looking like i knew that this was like a huge risk simply because it's like a make it or break it type of deal because i was done with the entire thing now if i messed this up the entire thing was going to be messed up still took the chance me being the rebel that i am the risk taker you know what i mean you all remember my first halloween thingy that i always talk about i did do it and believe it or not you know when you regret something that you do so much i can't believe i spent so much time on this stupid painting only for me to fuck up the literal last thing on this entire thing i I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry so bad. It's not even. It's not even funny. Like it, this is this. How? The, what the? Okay, I'm gonna cry. Bye. Okay, the easy part's done. Now comes the flipping hard part. Okay, I'm done with the repainting, and it took me a little longer than I expected it would. you can see the final result i like it it's not the worst that i could have done definitely not the best that i could have done i prefer the new sky over the old one i think this one looks better never freaking buying this again i don't know i still think this video is gonna be like shorter than um, 10 minutes so let me tell you all a bit about a city getaway that we did Anyways, that is it for this video. I do not know what this was. Hopefully you liked it. This is not my best painting. This is not my best work. But I still do really like it because I did have fun making it. Don't buy, uh, what was this? Dr. Pepper. It tastes like crap. And I 
I'm going to wash my face and then take a nap because then I have two physics worksheets to do. So I'll I'll get going now. Wait, I need to chuck this. Hold up. Have a good day. Peace. Oh yeah, forgot to say this, but I also varnished it. Okay, that's it. Peace. This time for real peace. Bye.